Hey guys, how are you doing? Recently, some users are asking in related discussions and some in our comments that whether installing iOS 26 beta software on your iPhone or iPad affects the battery health or not. Based on my understanding and observation all these years with beta softwares, I just want to share some inputs regarding the question. So that will give a good clarity whether to install iOS 26 beta on your iPhone, either it is public beta or developer beta. Is it a good idea to install it on your iPhone and iPad or you should wait till the stable release comes out. If you have installed, you can of course roll back or downgrade to the stable iOS 18 release. The iOS 18.6 is the latest one. I'll also provide the link to the downgrade tutorial in the description and in the first pinned comment. You can check that out if you want to. So inside the iPhone settings, battery and battery health section, you can check the maximum capacity of battery health available. If you notice sudden reduce of battery health like 5% or 6%, even in Reddit discussion, some people have mentioned that after installing iOS 26 public beta, they have noticed 5 to 6% of battery health reduce on their device. So one thing that you need to understand is check the battery health reduce whether it happened gradually or it is a sudden refresh after a major iOS software update that you have done. Because after a software update, if there is any bug causing uh, the battery health to not refresh on time, then after the software update, we will normally see the battery health getting refreshed and shows the correct percentage. The cycle count is not a unit of measurement to measure the battery health percentage as per my understanding. And check from the first use of your iPhone if it is an average 1% a month or 2 months 1% reduce, it is absolutely normal. For some users, when you follow the charging practice as suggested in our video, one of our video, I'll also leave that link to that video in the first pinned comment. If you're new to iPhone or you are thinking about maintaining your iPhone battery health in upcoming days, you can follow those simple two easy to follow tips to help you maintain the battery health. So the thing is, Based on the first usage, you need to calculate and for example, if it is a 10 months usage and if it is a 5% reduce or 6% reduce, it is absolutely normal. But with the iOS 26 beta version or any beta version, we always have some bugs. So that bugs could result in faster battery drain. So the more number of times you charge your iPhone, the cycle count gets completed the cell you know the battery cell inside the battery chemically it completes its one cycle and the cycle count keeps on increasing so the more number of charges whether you are using your iphone after the ios 26 beta or not it doesn't matter if there is any battery drain bug present on the beta version and you are charging your iphone frequently then yes there will be a good difference with the battery health when you try beta on your device. If it is just one or two months and then the stable version comes out and in the upcoming betas you can adjust with the reduce, you know, one or two percentage maximum, you will see the reduce during this beta uh, program. And if that is okay, then you can wait and install the upcoming betas every two weeks once we will get the beta, either public beta or developer beta, and we will get more fine tuning and improvements to our iPhone and iPad, you know, fixing so many bugs and battery drain problem can also get fixed over the upcoming updates. So if that is okay, then you can wait within the iOS 26. Otherwise, if you prefer that you don't want to take any risk, then it is advisable to downgrade or roll back to iOS 18 stable version, which is 18.6 at present. So I hope this information helped you to understand whether iOS 26 beta update reduces your iPhone battery health or not. Thank you so much for watching. For more useful iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.